Hello and welcome to Infinity. Here's a very quick and easy way of creating a sepia image and some other different um, aged looks to the photographs, colour photographing. So let's start off very simply. We go to the adjustments here and go to recolour. And what recolour is going to do is to change the basic colour you're going to get through the picture. So we start off, we want a kind of orange colour, so around about 26-ish that'll do. That looks fairly orange but it's far too bright here, isn't it? So we need to bring it down. So we bring this down around about to 30. And there you go, that's a more of the sepia type brown, isn't it? You can always do the, change the colours here as well and get different sort of interesting effects, but the old style was around that, um, that sepia colour. Okay, that's number one. Now let's try different blend modes. You can get some very interesting effects when you go down here. The first one's darken. Just the very first one there, darken. And what you get with that is this kind of, there's colour in there, but it's almost like it's been painted in. It's sort of, you know, the sky look a rather strange sort of greenish colour and so on. But nevertheless, it's clearly a photo and it's got that agey sort of look to it. What else can we do here? And you can literally go down them and look for something that comes up interesting. And next one down here that I actually like is vivid colour, or sorry, vivid, vivid light. And that's got that sort of, you know, the blacks have gone rather too black and the whites are a bit burnt out. It's like the processing was a bit, um, well, you know, chemically as it was. And that's a kind of nice one. And what else is there? Again, just scan down to see things you like. That's a rather strange one. And and this is the last one with the, the glow. It's, it's similar to the vivid one, slightly different, but again, that kind of aging thing without much color in it at all. It's just little bits of color coming through, but very largely it's sort of sepiaed out. And again, when any, any of these, you can play with the color uh, base colour, but I tend to find that, you know, around that, you know, mid-twenties sepia colour is, is a kind of the best for this sort of picture. Anyway, there you go, there you go. dead easy, very simple, recolour, pick your hue around about mid-twenties, whack the saturation down to about 30, leave the lightness alone, and play with the blend modes. Anyway, thank you very much for watching.